back with a new video. So, we are going to look at something called Kimchi today, which is a web UI for KVM, so that we get to manage the KVM system um, or virtual machines, the virtual machines on Linux, without having to do like a desktop app. So we get the virtual manager, machine manager, which is a desktop app which works great on Linux but doesn't really work on Linux, ah, Windows and I don't know about Mac OS, but so we got this Kimchi, which is a web UI which is going to work obviously across all three of them. And the idea is we're going to go through the process of trying to set it up. So the way that it works by the looks of it is we got this Kimchi project and then we've got the Walk project. So the Walk project is this sort of a cherry pie framework for multi-purpose plugins and then it looks like Kimchi is a plugin. So the first thing we need to do before we get to the Kimchi part is we need to do the Walk part first. So we need to get the, go through the Walk the walk installation. So we've got Fedora, we've got Debian and then we've got Ubuntu down here. So first thing we need to do is we need to start getting through the Ubuntu packages. Um, I've tried to do a previous video on this and the internet was very slow but today it looks maybe a bit better looks like we're gonna spend about 11-ish minutes and um, this is probably the part where I just skip it fast forward and the time skip is done so on to the next one Grab these and then grab all of these as well. Minus the Python 3 Cheetah, because when I tried this before, the Python 3 Cheetah well, did not install, it's not there anymore. We're gonna have to do it via pip later. So, and top scan. And the TypeScript is done. So we are back. Next step, we're going to actually try and download the software. So we're going to go to releases. We're going to grab 3.3 or 3.0.0, grab the source, and we are going to get it onto the server. Okay, so let's see what's next. Now we get it over there. We are going to extract. And then just leave stuff like around and okay, cool. So next thing to do is grab the pip dependencies. So remember correctly, it does not take that much time. And let's see what else is required here. Okay, so then we have to do a build. So we're going to grab this one, start building it. Make, make install, and then grab. Let's see actually if it's started up already. Okay, so nothing sorted up. Let's see if so also nothing installed. So we'll make looks like we have to make the dev and then install the dev file. So we should have a dev file now. And there it is. Then we go walk and busy installing. So let's see if we see something now and we don't so let's see if there's any particular okay so but yeah it was a cheetah that we were missing so we're good i think it's cheetah three um let's see if we try let's go to system start walk p And we've got ourselves a walk server sorted up. So let's go and I think this is one six. 
one, two, two dot, and let's double check the IP address of the server. Six eight. One too many zeros. And then for some reason when you accept the certificate it gets redirected back to the basic with HTTP, not the HTTPS, but now I got the HTTPS back and we are logged in. So cool. So we got the walk part sorted. So Next thing we need to do is we need to go back to the, the kimchi project. Close up that one. Okay, cool. So we've got a few things that we need to install here as well. So I think everything should already be installed for us. Well, let's just double check. Okay, cool. So everything looks like it's installed. Next thing we need to do is grab a copy of the project as well. Get this under releases again. I'm going to grab the that one and to do and busy downloading. Cool. So again, unzip it. On torrent on three dot zero, and then we get into this directory. So this directory also has. Okay, need this wait. This page, come on, let's see. Okay, cool. So we get the we get these requirements that we need to install. Same requirements I think as well, so it's pretty simple. These ones are some extra ones. Okay, so the reason why that doesn't work, I think we need to run this part first and then we go into another time skip. And we are back again from the time skip. So, what we're going to do now is try or retry this Ubuntu installation or the, sorry, the pip installation for these packages. There's one other one that I know that's also actually missing from this list, and that is called distro, because we're going to need that as well. And then what I'm going to try and do is to stop the walk server and then what we're going to do is have a look at this debug running this debug down here well this is going to give us give us clear indication on whether the everything is working fine and let's see what happens when we try to log in so no plugin okay so the reason actually is, is that sorry i skipped I skipped a step, which is that same, same with the work, we have to do like the whole build process and we're going to do that right now. So, doing the auto jingle figure thing first and then we're going to run make and then we're going to install. And sorry, that's my mouse doing weird stuff. Because if you're keeping the control in the mouse wheel, then it just does that. Okay, so I'll make it a bit smaller, make a store. Make dead. Okay. And then what we need to do is do the deep packaging again, get it installed, and then we're gonna try or retry this this command down here. See what happens. Okay, so now we get a virtualization. Okay, so kick those out. We need to log in again. Now we get this virtualization tab, which is the community stuff that we've been looking for. So, the way that it works, from my understanding, is, is that we've got these storage, which is just kind of the KVM Kimi of storage. We've got the network, which is our default network for KVM. And then we get to install from these templates. So, by default, this version comes with. 1904 um, an ETC folder there is a place where you can configure this so if you like want to add newer versions of Ubuntu let me just quickly try and get there actually maybe just let's first do go through this and then we get there so 
I get these templates and then from the templates is we can make a guest and then we could call it something something and then what we can do is go back, edit it, give it the amount of memory, processes, place for snapshot, like PCI stuff, missions, interface, storage, like all the kind of stuff that you'd normally think of and then you can save it and then not the fastest computer in the world or well my PC is decent but because I'm emulating this on an emulator it's not going to be very quick but you can see process utilization memory all the kind of things that you would expect um yeah so that's that okay so then there's this view console which gives you a emulator thing and like i said it looks like it's very slow but it's again emulated on emulated virtual machine on a instead of just being yeah, you guys get it. Anyway, so we got that working, we got this, and now what we can do is we can go back and we can, for instance, um, think there's a place where you can, yeah, I can edit it like auto started. So when the virtual machine starts up, it starts the virtual machine in the virtual machine. <laughs> okay, so yeah, again, okay, so I can't edit it while it's busy spun up. Okay, so yeah, and then just power it off. Um, so, in terms of the ETC folder I told you guys about, I think it's in here, so there's distros, and then there's like one for Ubuntu, so like, and then basically you'll be able to add the other two, or, or later Ubuntu um, to this. Um, quick footnote as well, like this whole thing is done on 1804, but I know that um, Ubuntu 2004 came out a few days ago. Um, the reason why I'm still sticking to 1804 um, is that it takes a little while for, for people normally to kind of upgrade the software to work nicely with the, the newer um, the newer releases, Kimchi being one of them. Like there was problems with um, getting it onto 2004. And I think just maybe as a practice, it's better to wait a few months to get the, to get, um, to give time for the people that maintain the software to to test it properly on the newer releases of um, of distributions. Um, so yeah, the idea being is, is I want to set this up on a server that runs a bunch of VMs and let people be able to manage and edit the stuff via this web UI instead of um, having to struggle to try and get something to work on Windows. The, the thing being the virtual machine manager um, because by the looks of it, it's a bit difficult. You have to go through this whole segment process where it's just like it's there. Anyway, so I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more, subscribe. If you like this video, like it. Um, if there's anything you want to tell me, just drop it down in the comments below. And until next time, bye bye.